traders from around the world. What's going on? It's me, Jeremy. I'd like to introduce them with reallifetrading.com. Hope everyone's doing absolutely majestic. Don't have a lot of requests for today, so it's going to be another quick stock review. Just remember, you are welcome to request any stocks, and I'll do my absolute best to look at them uh, as quick as I can in these fun, free updates. SPY, obviously, the last three or four days has been dramatic. Very pretty gap down on the Go back to Monday's video, go back to that recording, mentioned, uh, obviously this was Monday, I mentioned that we'd likely gap down at some point and then trade higher. So this blue line is my drawing and interpretation of what the SPY is likely going to do. So far, bingo, following it to the T. So nice shooting star candle on the SPY. We probably will retest another two or three days. We could go lower than the low of this candle, but we shouldn't. Uh, the thought is, if we close below the low of Tuesday's candle, right? Close below that low in the next two or three weeks, some things are about to go down and that's probably gonna be the stock market. So on the SPY, as long as we chop around here and rotate, this is gonna be a, a very nice and fun basing pattern. What I mean by that is we're gonna start building some support resistance around here. We're gonna chop around here for a while, most of February probably, and then eventually uh, in March go higher. But that's really what my overall thoughts on the SPY. Yesterday was a very profitable day, just day trading the SPY. Uh, made four R's yesterday. So here's the five minute chart. And oops, I did not mean to draw that line. Give me a second, move this over here. Sometimes I have too many drawing tools. I don't know which ones I'm using. So going back to the SPY, uh, the first five minutes, um, it was a nice t triple bottom pattern that was coming in. And we discussed that pre previous day that if we would gap down, it was going to be a retest gap when we retest it. So you had a nice little bullish run in here. If you hop into the one minute chart, you'll notice a tweezer bottom on the first two minutes. That's what I played bullish. Got out literally almost at the exact high of the day. Got really lucky about that. Got it uh, in bearish here with a stop there and got out right there for an R. And that was it. My rule is four R's by noon, be done for the day. So that was me being done for the day on uh, Tuesday and then today I didn't take any day trades at all. Uh, just letting this volatility do its thing tomorrow It'll be interested to see exactly what spy does if spy gaps down tomorrow We'll probably uh, retest run down a little bit and then end up bouncing. We'll just have to see overall what the market does um, We got Apple of course being very talked about down 2% today, but also an inside day candle will probably calm down and have that volatility that will do something like that on Apple for a while. If Apple closes again below the low of Tuesday's candle, it'll go down a little bit lower. That's gonna be pretty much the analysis for most stocks, is if we really do close below the low of Tuesday's candle, especially if it happens soon, then yeah, we're probably in for an actual even bigger pullback. Otherwise, we'll consolidate around here, we'll bounce around. We might do what Wynn did, ticker symbol W-Y-N-N. -N. This was a very nice bullish gap and go today, so I hope some traders made some money on this one. But Wynn had that classic, really fast sell-off, um, trade up higher, rotate, and bounce. Feel free to take a picture of this because this is what I think the SPY is gonna do. Now granted, I know it was on some different news for when specifically, but as you all know, I don't really look at the news anyway. I look at just the price action and the candles, and this would be fantastic if when could give us exactly, or the markets could give us exactly what when did. Now I don't think we're gonna get a gap and go like this in the market, but it's possible. So bottom line, yeah, I think we're gonna do something like this for the next four to five days. We'll get some pullbacks, we'll get some choppiness, but very good for put sales and or bull put spreads as implied volatility is kind of rearing its head, which is nice. Here's XNET, XNET, have one trader named Frank looking at buying this bullish off of the 100 simple moving average. So the 100 simple moving average is the blue line. Today's an inside day candle and we'll see if XNET slowly and ever so graciously starts bouncing a little bit higher. Your big daddy Bitcoin, BTC, USD. Uh, as you all know, we now do have a cryptocurrency program on the Real Life Trading website. So if you guys ever wanna hop over to reallifetrading.com, click on premium and go to cryptocurrencies, you're welcome to, uh, to purchase that product and uh, check it out, but very valuable. A lot of traders use that exact course to already make some good money and uh, a lot of volume down here on Bitcoin, a nice little morning star reversal pattern. And it's my interpretation that the bleeding will stop for a little bit longer as long as we stay below the low of the candle yesterday. Ironically enough, 
very similar candle to the overall markets. I'm not saying they're correlated, but I am saying that Tuesday is a big bullish day for both cryptos and US equities. And if we close below the low of yesterday's candle on most of these markets, we will be going lower. So that's really all I got for the review today. If you guys want more requests, just put them in the comment section below. Email me, jeremyrealifttrading.com. I, mean, I know we look at a lot in the afternoon swing trading room, but there's a lot of you who haven't subscribed to the afternoon trading room. So if you want me to review your stocks, just let me know and I'll give you a quick glance. You guys rock. I'll be back Friday. And until then, remember, love life, love, love, and trade. See you. Bye.